G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of adding fractions, okay? And this is a way of adding fractions without all the working out, a way of doing it pretty much instantly, okay? So sit back uh, and, and work out this method. It's, it's a pretty cool little way of doing it. So first off, how fast can you add these two fractions? What about uh, two-fifths plus one-third? Now, have you worked out the answer to this yet? So hopefully you're going to get the answer of 11 over 15. Did you get that? Or are you still trying to work it out? <laughs> I didn't give you very much time, did I? But that's actually how fast you will be able to work it out. Pretty much as fast as you can write them, or fast as you can say them, you can work them out. So I'm going to show you a method for doing this right now. So what about we start with this particular one we had here. Now, how did I do this so quickly? There's a couple of steps involved with this and you'll be doing them really, really quickly once you work these out. So, first off, what we're doing is I'll get this bottom number first. Uh, that's just going to be 5 times 3, which is 15, okay? Now, to get the next number, this number on the top of our answer, what I do is I multiply this number by this number of the question and then this number and this number and I add them together. Okay, so you got that. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then we have 5 times 1, which is 5. And then we add these together. Okay, we get our answer, which is 11. Pretty cool, right? So i tell you what, uh, let's go through a few examples of these. Give them a, a bit of a practice and you'll be fairly good on this. Okay, so <laughs> let's... Uh, I'll start with a nice easy one. What about we do a half plus one-third. Okay, so same off again. You might decide, hey, I'm going to get that bottom number first. Okay, so uh, two times three is six. Then what we do is we're multiplying this number by this number to get three, and then this number by this number to get two, and then we're adding them. Okay, so three plus two is five. You went pretty all right with this? Okay. Now, it just involves keeping a few numbers in your head, which is, you know, that's all part of mental maths, yeah? So, <laughs> it's not too bad. What about we go another one of these? What about a quarter? And to this, we're going to add two-thirds. So, maybe what you want to do is maybe you want to start getting the top number first and then getting the bottom number, okay? Because that's typically how we say them, okay? So, first off, uh, 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 twelfths, okay, because 4 threes are 12. And that's how you start beginning to do it mentally, okay? How did you go with that? Pretty good. What you might want to be doing is you might want to start pausing this because you, you might take a little while when you're first doing these and you do want to get correct answers, okay? A quick wrong answer, <laughs> that's no good at all either, is it? So you, you want a quick correct answer. Okay, so what about uh, this one? A couple more of these. We've got three quarters, and to this I'm going to add one fifth. Okay. You got the answer yet? Okay. So 15, three fives are 15, plus 4. 15 plus 4 is 19. Four fives are 20. Pretty simple, right? Okay, what about one last one of these? Okay, one eighth plus two thirds. Hopefully you've already worked out the answer. Okay, hopefully I'm slowing you down by even um, <laughs> speaking the rubbish that I'm speaking right now. So, first off we have three plus 16, which is 19. And three eighths are 20. Okay, so 19 twenty fourths. Now, look, when we that's for adding fractions, and that's a really, really handy little trick. Uh, just a couple little things with this. Um, probably the major one to get is um, look, we, we haven't dealt with mixed numbers in this one, so you still want to be able to deal with mixed numbers. And then, if you have a mixed number here, you probably want to you know uh, work that out before you do this particular trick. So th this hasn't dealt with that. The other thing is we're going to also have a bit of a look at subtraction, which is a similar sort of idea, but there's a particular order in which things have to be done. It's a little bit more particular. Okay, so 
it's, it's what particular orders and particularity do. Um, okay. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.